ever wonder why when they're making a sword, they keep pounding and pounding with a hammer? In fact, in any blacksmith shop, they would keep pounding the metal, not only to shape it, but to make it stronger and stronger so it could withstand the task it was being asked to do. This is called peening, and compressing the molecules in the metal makes it harder and much, much stronger. When they made the first car, they used the peening process to make the car strong because they needed to be or else the car would fail. It became a real important function in the process of making car parts, but not quite as important as on airplanes where they used the peening process to ensure that wings stay on a plane. After they would weld the wings on a plane, they had to make sure they could withstand the bending that plane wings have to do when they catch the wind. I'm sort of glad they do that. Let me explain how this works. If you take a metal bar and start to bend it, you'll find that the bottom of the bar has a compression as it starts to bend. Essentially, the molecules in the bottom of the bar are pushed together, causing a compression. In the top of the bar, the molecules are being stretched apart. This is called tension. And when the molecules are farther apart, the bar becomes weaker. If you take any piece of metal and constantly bend it in both directions, it will become weaker and eventually you will find that it begins to break apart. But if it's a bar and it is bent in only one direction, the side with the tension is the area where it starts to break. The compressed side is protected because it's stronger from the compression. Now, if we could make the side with tension more compressed, it would last longer. So what they do in metallurgy is they hit the weak side with small pieces of shot to compress the tension side of things. Once a piece of shot makes an indentation, it compresses that area. So if you hit it with multiple pieces of shot, the whole side of the bar becomes compressed. It's called shot peening, and it's like the ball peen hammer that used to make swords strong. So essentially, both sides of the bar are compressed, and the bar is rock solid hard. That's why wings stay on planes, and car parts can run for miles. In nature, people go through a shot peening process throughout their life. They are slowly hit with pieces of bad information or things that they do not want to know. And those pieces of information are the shot that compress their personality. Once compressed, they can withstand greater and greater loads. But just as with metal, you can only withstand a certain amount of shot before you start getting weaker. Those pieces of shot in business might be contracts withdrawn or employees creating different types of stress. In psychology or medicine, it might be patients coming in and presenting problems over the years, or presenting problems you can't help them with. In law enforcement, it might be fatal accidents or shootings, or anything that can cause your blood pressure to rise through the roof. So be aware of where you are in the wear and tear process, and make sure you are not weakened. Be aware when you are shot peeing to almost the breaking point. And once you are aware, do the self-help that is necessary to get yourself back to where you can flex and be like the wings on an airplane or the swords of the samurai. This is Gary O. Miller for Inside Police Psychology.